I've been looking forward to working on this section for a long time. The first thing we need to do is uh, get the skins prepared. So I've got a couple of old picnic tables that are kind of low, but uh, I think we can make do. One of the things I like to do is get out the old soldering iron and uh, take off some of the blue, but just enough to show the rivet holes. And it kind of looks cool. It also said to break the edges, and I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait till I get ready to put the skins on. To stop the uh, soldering iron from scratching the aluminum, I rounded off the tip. A nice round point, and all it does is melt the plastic. Now for the therapeutic part of the project, taking the plastic film off. It's right up there with meditation. Ain't that pretty. Now for the flip side. We have to take the uh, blue film off the back. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but I think I found a way to get it off. Courtesy of Jason Ellis and his RV-10. Jason used an old broomstick handle and uh, was able to roll things off pretty easily. Just to make things a little easier, I used my wife's hair dryer, don't tell her, and uh, it seemed to loosen things up quite a bit. There we go, all the skins are done. Time to work on the tail cone ribs. This is the F-1210C angle, which goes at the top of the third rib and helps support the vertical stabilizer. This angle piece has to be fluted. That way it will conform to the curve in the top of the third rib. Here are the ribs. Time to remove the blue stuff. All the edges have been deburred and sanded. On this next part, I did some extensive videoing with my GoPro, but the <gasps> camera ate my clips, so you'll have to use your imagination. I fluted the ribs as needed to uh, straighten them out. Then I riveted the uh, first, second, and third ribs together. The third rib gets the uh, angle piece mentioned previously, plus a reinforcement plate. Then the wear plate. Here's my tail skid bracket completed. The video of its construction was also eaten by the <gasps> GoPro. The creation of this uh, tail skid was pretty intense, but fortunately we had a template to go by. Next we have the rear assembly, which is made up of the fuselage bulkhead and the bulkhead doubler. Here I've riveted the uh, bulkheads together, the attached brackets, the tail skid, and the nut plates. Now I need to rivet the left and right hinge brackets and flange bearings to the rear assembly. Just love that pneumatic rivet squeezer. All done. Time to start on the skins. This is my brake tool from Cleveland Tools. It is very handy. The brake tool puts a slight bend on the edge of a sheet 
That way, when it overlaps another sheet, it sits nice and flat. I put a link in the comments of this video where they show you exactly how to use it. In the middle of one of the bottom sheets, there is some material that has to be removed. This is uh, most likely was put there to uh, prevent any kind of a bend when this uh, sheet is moved around. The Dremel tool comes in really handy for this. A simple cleanup with a file takes care of all the rough edges. Before I begin this next part, I think I may have found a typo. The parts F1284, L, and R are labeled backwards, I think. If you look at the F1284-R on the right, it doesn't match the F1284-R on the left. I think the one on the right is the correct one. Now to Clico and rivet the uh, shear clips to the uh, J stiffeners. The stiffeners will go on the bottom sheets of the uh, fuselage. Now to click over the J stiffeners to the bottom sheets. These J stiffeners need to be drilled to the other J stiffeners already on the sheet. The J stiffeners are riveted to the bottom sheets. Now we're ready to hang the ribs. The ribs have slots cut into them to make it easy to hang the ribs. Now for some Clicos. Time to hang some more skins. The slots in the ribs really make this easy. Everything all glicoed together. Time for rivets.
Thanks for watching our video. Be sure and check back where we'll be adding the rear assembly, putting on more skins, and starting on the static and pedo lines. And oh yeah, make sure and subscribe.